this little dinosaur could have made an easy meal for meat eaters. But its colour and camouflage pattern may have helped the Sitakosaurus go unnoticed for longer. This countershading pattern serves to conceal shadows cast on its body, making it appear flatter and less conspicuous. Scientists in Britain reconstructed this model using a particularly good fossil specimen, complete with preserved skin pigment. Getting exceptional preservation and being able to tell colours in a fossil is really unique. Usually you only get the hard parts preserved, such as bone or shell. But under exceptional circumstances, we can be lucky and find soft tissues and, and, and also these pigments preserved. They used an unpainted model to find out how light hit parts of the body in different environments. And we took this model out, which was just painted grey, and looked at how the shadows were cast onto this model under these different light conditions and then compared it to what we see in the fossil. They found shadows cast from diffused light, such as on a forest floor, closely matched the countershading on the fossilized skin. So what is really nice now is that we have this kind of diffused light that we would expect to see in a forest. And, and it's very nice because you can actually see now here the, the, the transition in the shadow actually almost perfectly matches the transition from dark to light that we have here on the belly as well as on the tail there. Researchers believe the Labrador-sized Sitakosaurus must have lived in a forest habitat in what is now northern China about 120 million years ago. The bipedal plant eater would have faced a constant threat from predators. But quickly evolving camouflage may have helped it save its own skin for longer.